Time now for NTV's first alert weather forecast. Welcome back here on your Tuesday and really just kind of another lost day to be outdoors. It is going to be windy. It's going to be chilly. It's going to be damp throughout the day. And notice that those temps, I mean, we start off mid 40s, 3 o'clock were maybe upper 40s. We may not reach our highs until 6, 7 o'clock later on this evening as we just continue to be stuck in this pattern. Now, if you're wondering exactly where spring is or why things are the way they are, we'll go into a little bit deeper look. Again, it's thanks to two features. We have this deep trough that right now has kind of worked its way into the central plains, but we also have a pretty persistent ridge located in the southeast part of the country. Now, over the course of the next two days, with that low kicking up, we do see it kind of retrograde back to the west as that ridge builds in a little bit further. That means when we get to Thursday, we try to build back up, but I think we end up on the wrong side of the warm front, so the severe weather threat is primarily going to be down into Kansas, and we're probably still stuck with highs in the 60s. As long as this trough and this ridge are in place, which they're probably going to be for the next seven, at least 10 days, we're going to continue to see more below average temps than above average and more chances of rain, which we have plenty of it out there this morning. It is a very damp start to our day, and as we pan back on Viper radar, there's a whole lot more coming. Uh, the rain that we've got out there this morning, there is more of it on the way, and that's why we have the flash flood watch in southeast areas that runs all the way through this evening into tonight. And our low today is kicking a little further east than it was looking like yesterday. So I think the slight risk of severe weather off to the southeast, I would agree with that. Can't rule out maybe a marginally strong storm in the Tri-Cities. I think a better chance will be off to the southeast. But you look at your future cast, it's just wave after wave of rainfall. Uh, today it's going to be chilly, windy, damp, just Nothing nice about it today. A cool night. We're dropping down into the 30s to near 40. It starts to get a little better tomorrow as highs should kind of creep back up at least a little bit. Temps right now are low to mid 40s, close to 50 in the southeast. We're not going to warm all that much. Like I said, we may not actually reach our high until 6 or 7 this evening. It's just not going to be nice. And don't forget, we'll have an east wind gusting 25 to 30. Overnight, we drop down to 39. The rain's slowly coming to an end. We're back to 66 tomorrow, still a little breezy, but you know, with sunshine and winds, maybe we can dry things out at least a little bit for a brief time frame. Mid 40s to upper 50s. That'll be the range today when we're supposed to be well into the 70s. And being on the wrong side of the front Thursday, well, I think that's going to limit our severe weather threat. It also limits our high temps only into the mid 60s before we finally get back to more seasonal conditions there. Mid 70s Friday through Monday, but you know, rain chances aren't going away, especially evening chances Saturday and Sunday. Memorial Day, um, I think if it played out right, could potentially have a little bit of a severe weather threat. So uh, as I mentioned, this pattern, it's going to stay active all the way into next week. Wasn't that supposed to happen in April? Yeah. <laughs> And just a little behind. Yeah, you know, just keep things nice and active. And again, I just, you know, this this pattern will keep us more cool yeah. than above average, I think, for at least the next 10 days. All right. 